I didn't realize how much skincare I actually have. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Today's video is going to be my skincare declutter. I've done several of these on my YouTube channel over the years, and today we have another one. Now up top here, what you're looking at is all of the skincare that was in my bathroom. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was this much skincare in my bathroom, let alone the entire Alex Nitro unit below it that is also full of skincare. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second. If you have a favorite skincare brand, please let me know in the comments right now. I, I'm dying to know. Let me know your favorite skincare brand if you are a skincare lover. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this is all of the skincare that was in my bathroom but then we have this so I pulled out all the drawers um, I'm gonna show you all of my skincare drawers now I did a skincare declutter not even that long ago but I I don't know this is honestly probably the least amount of skincare I've had in the last five years but it's still way too much and I want to declutter in preparation for the new year. I will say in this drawer we have some other things other than skincare, but I just want to declutter everything and have a nice fresh start, so that's what we're doing today. If you missed it, yesterday I did body care and hair care, and this is my declutter box from that video. I'll have that link down below. Also, Bling Brushes and I have a giveaway going on right now. We are giving away the PR box for the Ice Queen collection. It's a brand new collection from Bling Brushes. It's a 13-piece brush set along with a beautiful blue sparkly cosmetic bag. So that video will be linked down below for you as well. So the first category of products that we are going through is cleansers and exfoliators. So this top drawer has a bunch of cleansers. I think there might be one exfoliator in here. I'm also going to go through the products on top of this unit all the products that were in my bathroom and I'll kind of go through those with each category drawer by drawer if that makes sense. So we'll start with what's already in the drawer. Most of the product in the Alex 9 drawers is brand new so anything that I declutter will be passed along, donated, given to friends and family, that type of thing. So it will be going to a new home except for things that are expired which again there's probably very few things in here that are like opened and expired. So let's get started with cleansers. This first cleanser is from Pharmacy. This is the Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. My boyfriend is actually running out of his cleanser. I think he may have used it up already. He was using the Belief one, but he's actually going to use this one next. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out and we will technically be decluttering it, but we're passing it along to my boyfriend. So I'm going to pop that in the shower for him him so that he has a new face cleanser. Next we have this one from La Roche-Posay. This is a medicated gel cleanser and this sounds so good and I could probably benefit from using this but I have a lot of cleansers and again I'm trying to take advantage of as many of the new products as I can by passing them along so I'm actually going to declutter this one and maybe one day I will give it a try but for now it will be passed along to someone else who I know will get better use out of it. Next we have this Morphe 2 cleanser. This is just a gel cleanser I suppose. Again, oh it's the Bubbly Fresh Gel to Foam Cleanser. This is one that I would love to try but I'm trying to pass things along before they expire. So again we are going to declutter the Morphe 2. Next we have this Kopari one. Now this one I have to keep. This is the Tropical Glow Cleanser. I have not tried this one and I am really excited about trying it so I just have a few cleansers that I am working on going through and once I'm done with those I will move on to that one. Speaking of Kopari our one and only exfoliator in here is from Kopari. This is the California Glow Enzyme Scrub. I am going to keep this because I have an exfoliator that I just put in the shower. We used up a Kate Somerville one and now we are using one from the brand Versed. So then once we use that one up, this will be our next product. Then I have this one from Kira Moon. This one is the Silky Rinse. I am really interested in trying this product. The packaging is 
so freaking cute so I at least want to try this out so um, I am going to keep this one should I keep it in the box maybe I should keep it in the box <laughs> next we have this from Coco kind this is the oil to milk cleanser I'm thinking this might be more so is this for makeup removing I don't think so, but I, I'm really interested in trying this. I haven't tried anything from Coco Kind, so I think I'm going to keep that one as well. I have a few Ofra cleansers here, as well as a few mini Tatcha ones. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep the two full-size Ofra. I love both of these. They are amazing, especially this one. I have used some of these mini foaming ones, and I think I'll keep the opened mini foaming one, and then I will pass along the sealed one just because I mean I want to keep it don't get me wrong but I have a mini and a full size I can always purchase another one when I run out but this one is still sealed and this stuff is fantastic it's their foaming vitamin C cleanser so I will pass that one along and then I have these two mini Tatcha ones which I do love and I I've used this one I have not used this one but if I'm gonna bring a mini cleanser somewhere I feel like I'm just gonna bring the Ofra one so I suppose I can declutter both of these by the way I'm trying to be as cut through as I can I am definitely trying to cut down on this collection quite a bit and I've already done a pretty good job of that up until even this point like this is like the smallest number of cleansers that I've had in a very long time. So um, I'm already like, you know, I'm feeling good about my collection, but I know I can cut it down even more and waste less and pass along product to more people. So we're going to be as cutthroat as we can, but my makeup declutter is going to be where the real declutter begins and I'm going to get rid of so much makeup. So um, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. The other cleansers that I have are this one, which is from Ula Henriksen. This is the one that I'm currently using in my bathroom. This is the Truth Juice Cleanser. I, there's still maybe like this much left so um, this is one that is partially open I am gonna keep that but I will also be keeping it in our bathroom so that I can focus on using that one up and then I have this elf pure skin cleanser this one I actually used up about a quarter of it and then I lost it I lost it when we moved and I just recently found this product in my uh, bathroom like under the sink so um, I will keep this one as well I'll kind of have this one as like a backup it's definitely a really good sensitive skin cleanser but again both of those are gonna stay in the bathroom and then we have this one this is the purity uh, philosophy cleanser I think I bought this because of Jaclyn Hill I don't know I don't think I've ever even used this so I think since it's such a large cleanser and I have so many other ones already, I think I'm going to pass this one along, which I wasn't expecting to do that, but I am happy to do so. And I believe those are all of the cleansers. Like I said, my boyfriend has the belief one that's like basically gone in the shower. And then I'm currently using the La Mer cleanser. It's called the cleanser. And I'm using that one in the shower. The Ula uh, Henriksen one is for like when I'm not in the shower. So um, I have three opened cleansers right now that I'm kind of like focusing on all of. And then once I'm done with those, then we will just have these few right here to pick from. I think I'm just going to leave this as it is. I can definitely start combining drawers for skincare. So maybe I do like cleansers, exfoliators, and toners in here. Um, but for now, I think I'll just keep it like this and we'll reorganize another day. So next we have this drawer, which has makeup removers, oils, toners, that type of thing. Um, so let me move you guys down so you guys can see this drawer. So makeup remover is something that I definitely go through pretty frequently. I use a lot of makeup remover, whether it is something like this, like micellar water. I use this a lot to wipe off swatches. And I have a few other micellar waters down below, which we will get to at the end of the video. Uh, this is just what's kind of currently in this drawer. So, um, I'm trying to 
figure out where to start here. I guess I'll start with the glow tonics. I have this one. I just recently got these. They say pages glow tonic on them. Of course, I am going to keep both of those. I love the glow tonic and I've been using it a lot recently and I have been loving it. I have this cleansing oil here from Tula, which I have not tried. I also have this one from First Aid Beauty. I also have not tried that one. And then I currently have a cleansing oil in the shower. It's from Fresh. So I think I'll declutter the Tula one. It's still unopened. I've had this for a while. Um, and I really want to try this First Aid Beauty one. So I think I'm going to declutter the Tula one. We will keep the First Aid Beauty. And then we have the First Aid Beauty Oil Minimizing Toner. I have quite a few toners um so maybe i'll pass this one along as well again this is a brand new product so we can give that to somebody to use i think i'm gonna rearrange this a little bit and i'll put toners in here i've also got this toner down here this is the uh, uh botanical collagen tonic so I think I'll put this one in this little compartment as well. This is from Ula Henriksen. This is the Glow OH Dark Spot Toner. This is amazing, and I would keep that, but I already have an open one, and I still have quite a bit of it in here. So I'm going to keep the opened one, but I am going to declutter and pass along the new one. It hurts me to do, but I'm trying to go into this with a better mindset <laughs> when it comes to the products that I'm keeping. So I'm just going to set this here for now. Same with this, since we already decided to keep those. This makeup remover from Ofra, I am going to keep. This is the beautifying eye lotion. This is fantastic for removing eye makeup. Next, I have this little Fenty Skin retexturizing treatment i think i will go ahead and pass that along as well just because i've had it for a while and i haven't used it up until this point i have another one of these pixie toners this is the uh, botanical collagen tonic so it's the same as the large one over here so i'll go ahead and pass this one along and declutter that i have the pharmacy deep sweep toner this one is amazing i think i will keep this one i actually just recently used one of those up and then i also have this one from coco kind this is the turmeric illuminating solution and i haven't tried anything from coco kind so i definitely want to give their products a shot whoa this one looks so cool i love the color of it so i'm gonna keep this as well let me go ahead and grab the toners from up top so we can look at those as well I think this is all of them. So uh, as I was saying, I've been loving the Glow Tonic. So I have this extremely large one that says Pages Glow Tonic on it. And this is currently in my bathroom or it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to keep this and that's going to go back into my bathroom. Um, I have this one from Saturday Skin. I think I'll go ahead and pass this one along. It's so cute. And I used to love Saturday Skin products, but again, I just have a lot of toners and a lot going on and trying to downsize a bit. I have this one from La Mer, which I would say I am about halfway done with. This is one that I need to focus on using up because this was super expensive. I'm trying to use up all of my La Mer products <laughs> because again, they were expensive and I'm definitely not repurchasing them, at least not anytime soon. Maybe if I like win the lottery or something, but <laughs> they're too expensive. So that one I'm going to use up, put that in my bathroom. Then I have this from Paula's Choice. This is amazing. I love this stuff. Um, so I think I'll keep that. I have this e.l.f. toner, which is also pretty incredible. This is from that same, like, dermatologist developed, um, the Pure Skin line, and this one is really, really nice. I want to keep it, but I think I just have too much going on, so I will pass that one along. And then I have this Kopari one, which I really want to keep this one. So... This is going in the bathroom. Let's see if I can rationalize this. Okay, so far so good. Um, I have this Chanel makeup remover. <laughs> um, I was feeling bougie when I bought this, I think. I am going to keep that. I think 
oh no I want to keep this so bad this is seriously you guys this is an amazing toner and like I literally have used up entire bottles of this but I think I'm gonna pass it along it hurts me to do but I have this toner this toner this one this one <laughs> and these two so I just really need to use some of these up and once I do I will repurchase the deep sweep one I just want to try some of these newer ones that I haven't tried before and just give them a chance so the deep sweep is incredible I highly recommend it but I am gonna go ahead and pass it along then we have a bunch of makeup bombs back here so let me move these over here again um, I actually have two in the bathroom at the moment i have the pharmacy peaches and clean this one is amazing i love it so much let me show you guys what it looks like it smells great it's the prettiest peach color ever so i'm definitely keeping this the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm is one of my all-time favorite uh like cleanser makeup remover formulas it's just so so good i have these uh, resurfacing facial pads from Elmas that are really nice. I actually have been using those quite a bit recently. I have a little mini cleansing balm from Bad Habit that I want to keep. I have the apple, the sweet apple clean back here, as well as the very cherry clean. Um, those are both from Pharmacy. I have the clearly clean, which is the unscented one back there. And then I have the Juno skin uh, clean 10 makeup removing cleansing balm. I haven't tried the Juno one. I don't think. Nope. I have not tried the Juno Co one. I think it's Juno Co now and not Juno and Co. I think I saw like Juno Co on their social medias now. I don't know if that's a new thing or what, but um, I am going to keep this. I really want to try that out. And then I have this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is like probably the most luxurious feeling cleansing balm I have ever used. It feels incredible. I don't know how expensive this is, but oh my goodness, this is amazing. I love it so much. Um, I will go ahead and keep this one in here but it's literally, it's so good. All right, here is the after of the drawer. I know there's still a lot in here, but um, this has all of my toners and makeup removing products in here. So um, I'm really happy with this actually. So this is fantastic. Next, we will move on to moisturizers. I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of moisturizers because this is not something that I go through very quickly. The first thing that I want to show you is something that I am ashamed of. This is the indigo cream from Tatcha. I don't want to know how much I spent on this, but look, I was playing with it the other day and just, just check this out. I opened it up so that I could use it, but this is like, it's like putty. It's like Play-Doh. Um, it's one solid unit that shrunk up and um this happened so um talk about a waste of money we're we're actually not going to talk about it we are going to learn from our mistakes and move on so needless to say i will be decluttering that so i have this watermelon glow pink juice from glow recipe i love this product however i actually already have one of these open in my bathroom so I'm gonna keep the open one and I'm going to declutter this one which is brand new I also have the daily greens from pharmacy this is another product that I have literally gone through probably like five of these moisturizers but I have so many other ones that I really want to try and give a chance so I'm gonna pass this one along I seriously love pharmacy so much and I'm so grateful for the PR that they send me and I've purchased products from them myself they're such an amazing brand but I just need to pass that one along to try some of these other ones. I also have this Bliss one, which is obviously still in the packaging. This is the Prevent 4 plus Pure Retinol Deep Hydration Moisturizer. We are going to pass this one along because it is still brand new. And I can give that to somebody else to use. I have this Pixi Hydrating Milky Lotion. I actually really love this, but... 
it's huge and I have a ton of other moisturizers. So again, I'm gonna pass that one along. I have this Saturday Skin Eye Cream. I have quite a few eye creams at the moment. So I'm gonna pass this one along as well. Again, it's pretty large with pretty bulky packaging. I have this one from uh, First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. I don't think I've used this yet. Yeah, no, it's still sealed. So I think I'm going to pass that one along as well. I have this Kopari uh, Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. I'm gonna keep that. I'm also gonna keep the Kopari Coconut Water Moisture Cream. I'm keeping the Open Glow Recipe. Um, I have this from Elemis, the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I'm interested in trying that one out. Um, Tatcha, we have Charlotte Tilbury, and then we have the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This one I think is still brand new, so I am going to pass this one along, even though the packaging is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm obsessed with it. And then I think I have a few. Okay, so actually, let me rearrange these really quick. I also have the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Cream that I want to keep. This was in my bathroom. Uh, I have the La Mer Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream that I'm going to keep. And then I have the Tatcha. This is the eye cream. This is something that I wouldn't repurchase. Um, I'm trying to use this up, but I just don't like love it a ton. So I'm going to keep it, but I wouldn't like repurchase that like I said. I have a few other La Mer products back here that I'm going to keep. Um, I have a little mini dewy skin cream, so I think I can get rid of this one. Let me check this one. <laughs> actually um yep this one still looks great so <laughs> i'll keep the full size i will pass along this little mini i also have the water cream i've used up a bunch of these it's really nice lightweight moisturizer but i can go ahead and pass that one along um i have the kopari starry eye balm this one sounds really really cool so I'll keep that. And then I have the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is probably my favorite eye cream that I've ever tried. Um, so I think I'll keep it because I only have this one and this one. Then we have a few Ofra. I have the Peptide Moisturizer and the Oil Free Moisturizer. Um, I've actually used both of these and I've really enjoyed them both like times that I've used them. So I think I'll keep those. I can see down below in a drawer, I have the Ultra Repair Cream. Um, I have gone through several, several, several of these. This is great for your face or body, but this one is brand new and I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. I think that's all of the moisturizers that I have. So again, this drawer is looking really nice and I feel like this organizer is making it take up a lot more space. So I feel like I could, well also like this goes in my bathroom, this goes in my bathroom, this also goes in my bathroom. I feel like I could definitely combine like this drawer with my cleanser drawer um, and then, you know, just, oh, I have another eye cream. I actually just saw this. This one is from Versed. This is the Vitamin C uh, Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel. I am also going to keep that. That was in my bathroom, but I think I'll keep it in here for now. The next drawer we have is serums, and I have a lot of serums. I also have a lot up top. So this is going to be like a big category, and I'm going to have to get rid of so much. This is like serums and sunscreens and any kind of like treatment type product. All right, so next up we have serums and treatments and SPFs, that type of thing. So, um, this is difficult. <laughs> There's a lot going on, um, especially because I have a lot of serums and things on top. So I guess we'll just, we'll start with SPFs because I can kind of pick those out first. So these are the two SPFs that I currently have open. I have the Trader Joe's Daily Facial Sunscreen and the Pharmacy Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen. Um, so I see that the pharmacy one is actually expired. It's almost empty. It expired in October. So luckily I was able to use most of that one up, but I will be decluttering that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the Trader Joe's one because this one is good until May of 2024. 
I also have all of these SPFs. So I'm for sure going to keep the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. This is a physical daily defense SPF 30 sunscreen. So I'll definitely keep both of those. Um, I have Coco Kind, this mineral sunscreen, and this Pharmacy Whipped Greens, along with this Bliss one. So let me check. This one is good until September of 2024, but I'm going to go ahead and pass this along because it's still unopened. I also have this Good Molecules one that I recently got in PR. Um, <laughs> so I have one, two, three, four, five, six sunscreens. I definitely don't need six. So, um... I think I'll pass the Good Molecules one along because I do have other mineral sunscreens that I know will work for my skin tone. So I feel like I could pass this along to somebody who potentially has a deeper skin tone that might not be able to wear other mineral sunscreens that don't, or I guess I should say that do leave a white cast. So I'll pass that one along. Um, and then I have First Aid Beauty and I have, oh wait... This is a cleanser. This is not an SPF. What am I doing? <laughs> this is a cleanser. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll pass this one along because I had the full size and I just moved that over to the bathroom. So <laughs> I'll pass along that little mini. <laughs> I can't believe I thought that was um, an SPF. So now I have four. Let me check the dates on these ones. I think I will keep Drunk Elephant, Coco Kind. I will pass along the First Aid Beauty one. Again, because I know SPF declutter, or not declutters, expires relatively quickly, and I don't want to hold on to too many SPFs. So I have three, one that is currently open, and then two that are unopened. I have used the Drunk Elephant one, and I love it. I have not tried the Coco Kind one. So I'll just kind of set these to the side here. Actually, this is going to go back in my bathroom, so I'll pull that out. And then I'll just kind of start going through products. So I have this Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. I think I want to keep that. I also want to keep this Ofra oil. This is the renewal treatment oil, but I'm actually going to move this to the bathroom so that I remember to use it every day. Drunk Elephant Marula oil is going to stay. Oh, here's another sunscreen. This one's from Versed. This is the uh, zinc oxide sunscreen. Oh, this one is actually expired. That is so unfortunate. So that one is going to be decluttered. I have a few serums. So we have the Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum from First Aid Beauty. I think I can declutter that because I do have some other dark spot products like toner and whatnot. I have the 10% Vitamin C Serum. I think I have, do I have other vitamin C? Maybe I don't have anything else vitamin C. I'm gonna put that in the little keep row for now, but we will definitely come back to that. Um, I have the Glow Tonic Serum from Pixie. That's really nice. The Rose Plus Essence Oil is also really nice. I have a few acne treatments here. So we have Bliss and La Roche-Posay. I think I will declutter the Bliss one and potentially keep the La Roche-Posay one. I have this, which is the uh, Chemical Exfoliating Rinse Off Treatment. Resurfaces skin to radiant perfection. That sounds really nice. I'm actually going to bring this to the bathroom so that I can give that a try. I have the Bliss uh, Prevent for Pure Retinol uh, Serum. I think I can... Sorry if that was out of focus. I think I will pass that along. I have a Vitamin C Serum from Pharmacy. So, um, sorry, this is kind of an awkward angle. So, I'm actually going to keep the Pharmacy one and declutter the Bliss one. And I just found another sunscreen. This one is from Kopari. This is the Antioxidant Face Shield Mineral SPF 30. I think I'm going to keep this one. This Mario Badescu drying lotion is so old and it's almost gone. <laughs> I have used this so many times. We are going to declutter that, but that's okay because I have the Ofra version of the drying lotion and this one is really nice. I recently picked this up. I actually purchased this I forget why. I was already placing an order and I was like, oh, I definitely need the drying lotion. So I'm going to keep this. This is going to go in my bathroom. I have a few Ofra skincare products. I love Ofra's skincare. So I have their collagen serum as well as their eye and lip cream. I'm going to keep both of those. I guess I'll put the eye and lip cream 
up here with my other eye creams. I have the fruit acid lotion, which I'm gonna keep. And then I have the B5 serum, which I'm also going to keep. Also gonna keep De Bronzy from Drunk Elephant. I have a bunch of products from The Ordinary, but they're all definitely old. I've had them for a really long time. So I have the salicylic acid and the azelaic acid, and I'm gonna declutter both of these only because I guarantee you they're expired. But um, I definitely probably should repurchase those and actually use them. I also have this from forever ago. I've had this for a really long time. It's the 30% AHA, 2% BHA peeling solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that because again, that is most likely expired. I also have this tea tree oil. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. I think I'm just gonna declutter that because I don't ever use it. I have another acne treatment. This is a spot treatment from pharmacy, not from pharmacy, from First Aid Beauty. I have the La Roche-Posay one and then I also have this different gel, which this different gel I don't think really worked for me, so I'm going to declutter that, but I also have one from Verst. So I think I'll keep the one from Verst. This is the acne drying treatment, the game over acne drying treatment. Um, oh wait, no, it's expired. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna declutter that. Also, don't know if I need the pharmacy one. Should I just keep the La Roche-Posay one? I think I'll declutter the pharmacy one and then I'm just gonna keep the La Roche-Posay one, uh, which is this one, but I am going to put this in the bathroom. I have this B12 Hydration Booster Serum from Bosha. I'm gonna put that in my bathroom as well because I really wanna use that. That makes me wonder if my other Versed products are expired. I feel like they might be. So I think, unfortunately, I'm going to declutter them. I have the Brightening Serum, this is Vitamin C, and the Clarifying Serum. The Clarifying Serum I have is almost gone. I actually really loved this. Definitely did not use this enough, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pass them along just in case because my skin has been doing a little bit better recently and I don't wanna risk it with expired skincare. This is the Gentle Retinol Serum from Verst. It says 12 months. I've definitely had that longer than 12 months like open, so I'll pass that along. And then this is the um, Advanced Restoring Serum. I haven't even used this one, so I think I'll pass it along. I do have the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Serum from Verse that I think I'm gonna keep, and then I also have the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel, which I think I'm gonna keep. This Eye Unique Tea Tree Serum is really nice, and it's good until October of next year. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put it in my bathroom, which is where it came from. I've also got this blemish treatment from Ofra. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I am going to keep it and put it in my bathroom. This Kira Moon uh, Flower Melon Hydration Serum, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the Dr. Jart. I have these. I don't have a dropper for them though. So I cleaned out this dropper from one of the other serums and put it on here. So now I have this, so I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. I love that serum. It's been a while since I've used it, but I cannot wait to start using it again. And I do have this backup. The rest of the serums that I have up top are Glow Recipe, and I'm gonna keep all of them. So I have the Strawberry Smooth, Guava, Watermelon, and Plum. I have Bee Hydra from Drunk Elephant that I'm gonna keep. And then I have Coco Kind, which I definitely wanna try. And then I have these Pacifica ones. We have Vitamin C, Collagen, Retinoid, and Ceramide. Let me take a look at these. I'm really tempted to keep them, but I know that I should not keep all of them, so <laughs> maybe I'll limit myself to like two. I think I'll do vitamin C and I will pass along the ceramide one as well as the collagen one. And then I will keep the Wake Up Beautiful Retinoid one. So here are all of the serums and whatnot. I'm gonna have to definitely reorganize this. Also, some of these are for sure going to come to the bathroom. 
uh, with the rest of my skincare, but for now I'm just going to leave it like this. I also realized I have this makeup remover from Laura Mercier, which is like almost gone, so I need to use that up. And then I have this little mini one from Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm just going to put with my other makeup removers. I've used that one a few times and I really like it. It's just a mini one, but... This one um, is almost gone, so that should be in an empties video soon. Next up, we have these. So these little masks go with the Pacifica um, serums. So let me see which ones we have here. So I had to resituate you guys at an angle because um, I can no longer like fit my tripod straight on. Um, I think I'm gonna, I love the idea of these, but I feel like I don't need all of them. So these are like reusable masks. So um, there's a brow mask, there's a lip line mask, under eye and smile line. So I think, I, I kinda wanna keep the brow one because it sounds really cool. They come in these little tins, which is nice and there is a little brow mask so you put like a serum on and then you put the brow mask on and then I think you can just um like wash them off let them dry and then put them back in here so I'll keep the brow one but I think I will declutter these three and pass them along to somebody else I have some acne patches here, which I definitely will go through. More acne patches. I have some under eye patches. I have four. It's not too terrible, so I think I'll keep all of those. These masks are so fun. I am obsessed with how cute those are, so I'm going to keep those as well. I have a vitamin C mask from Pixie, and then I also have some of these ones, which are hyaluronic acid, so I'm gonna keep those. There's not much in here for me to get rid of, so I'm just gonna keep everything else that's in here, but uh, these little fresh vitamin nectar glow powders would go in here, but I'm gonna put those in my bathroom and make sure that I use those up. I also have a few Curology acne patches here, but other than that, I think this drawer is pretty good to go. We are back to straight on. I'm going to go ahead and grab my masks that were in the bathroom and just kind of put them in here. Um, so I definitely need to get rid of quite a few of these because I just don't get enough use out of them. I have this vitamin C Tatcha one. This is so old. I need to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it but I need to. Luckily, I used up most of it, but I just need to declutter that and let it go. This is the Rice Polish Powder in Deep. I think I might put that in the bathroom to try. I have the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. That sounds nice. I have some eye patches. So I have Pixie Depuffing Eye Patches, and then I have Good Molecules caffeine energizing eye patches. I'll keep the pixie ones and I will declutter the good molecules ones. This little mask is like almost empty, but I really like it. It's the Origins Clear Improvement, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Mask from Youth to the People. It's just a little mini, but I don't need that. I'm going to declutter it. I have this Instant Resurfacing Mask from Versed. I didn't even know that I had this. Whoa. It looks awesome. It's like a jelly. I think I'll keep that one. I have TLC Sukari Baby Facial as well as F Balm from Drunk Elephant. This Ula Henriksen, the Fat Glow Facial. I really loved this. Um, oh, this is a new one. I forgot. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that. It's kind of similar to the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. But um, I also really enjoy that one. Let's see. I have a, oh, Revitalizing Vitamin C Face Mist. That sounds interesting. I'm going to put that in my, like, serum drawer. I have a bunch of these little I Do Care pots. So we have a Hydrating Rose Water Peel Off Mask. We have the Matcha Mood. Uh, soothing green tea wash off mask. We have the charcoal peel off mask, the brightening glycolic wash off mask, the disco kitten diamond peel off mask. 
have the Cake My Day Hydrating Sprinkle Wash Off Mask <laughs> and the Bright Timing Brightening Vitamin C Wash Off Mask. Um, let's see. I think I will keep all of these little small ones and maybe I will declutter the large one only because I just don't need all of these masks. So I'll declutter the big one, but that way I can try like a bunch of the small ones. The brightening mask from Ofra is great as well as this volcanic um, clay mask. I have these ones from Juno & Co or Juno Co. So I have the Cannabis Sativa Niacinamide Serum. Let's see. These are good until September. And then I also have the blue one, which, what is this one again? This is the Kill No More Pore Deep Cleansing Mask. I might keep both of those for now. Oh, this one is great. Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. If you ever get like too much sun exposure, that is fantastic. Vitamin C, vitamin nectar, yes. I have this little La Mer one that I need to use. I have a bunch of these little brushes. This one is the Magic Resurfacing Facial. Ooh, I think I might put that one in the bathroom. I have Summer Fridays, um, First Aid Beauty, and Wishful. Those are all amazing masks. Back here, we can definitely get rid of some of these. So I have... Peeling Zing C Exfoliating Jelly. I'm gonna declutter that. I have a few e.l.f. masks as well. I actually have four. I definitely don't need four. Actually, I have five of them. <laughs> so, Game Up Awakening Face Mask. I am gonna keep this one. Um, watermelon Glitter Face Mask. <laughs> Jelly Pop, I think I wanna keep that one. Holy Hydration, I can declutter. Um, we have the Milkshake Overnight Mask. I will... Oh, it's not actually an overnight mask. Oh wait, yes, you can use it as an overnight mask. <laughs> I think I'll declutter it. It's really cute and all. Um, Dope Dreams Sleeping Mask. Ooh, that sounds nice. Let's see what else I have. I have this one, the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This is a really nice clay mask. And then I have this from Saturday Skin. This is similar to the Wishful one, so I'll keep the Wishful one, declutter the Saturday Skin one. This is probably pretty old, uh, so I think I'm gonna declutter that one, even though I used to literally love that mask. So then I'll keep a Peeling Mask, the Game Up Awakening, and the Sativa one. I feel like that's pretty good in here. This next drawer has some other skincare items. So we have the Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. I have a Botanical Collagen oh, Eye Serum. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep that. I have a Green Clean Makeup Melts Away Cleansing Balm. This is an extra one. I will declutter that. I have all of these nail polishes. And then I have more Glow Tonic and um, some like makeup remover back here as well as these uh, sheet masks. Will these sheet masks fit in my sheet mask drawer? They do, perfect, okay. So here is all of the skincare that I am decluttering. There's literally so much skincare here. I am so excited to be passing all of this along, anything that's still good. Like I said, there are a few products in here that do need to be tossed, but for the most part, it's all new, fresh, good product, and I feel great. I feel like my drawers are like so empty looking now. <laughs> like what the heck, this is awesome. So I definitely need to reorganize this. I need to like re-situate the drawers and whatnot, but I definitely freed up some drawer space. Like this drawer and my moisturizer drawer can definitely can be can be can definitely be combined into one and just we'll just take it from there but i've been doing a pretty good job at using up my skincare and not purchasing new skincare any new skincare that i get for the most part is sent to me as pr and i pass along a lot of that as well as well as try out new stuff so i try my best to not be wasteful it does happen occasionally as you guys saw but I can learn from it and do my best to not let it happen again. So that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 7. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 8.